Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can record any full or partial payments that you're collecting from your clients outside of the Design File system. So if you do have clients that prefer to pay by Venmo or check or cash or PayPal or anything like that, you can now record those payments within your Design Files account, which means you will have a very clear snapshot in your financials page of what your company is bringing in on a month to month basis. So let's go ahead. We'll jump right in and just get started. Now I'm going to use this invoice right here as an example. So let's say that I sent this invoice out to my client and you can see that it's submitted over here. So let's say I sent this to my client and they ended up giving me a check for $5,000 and I want to record that amount that I collected. If I wanted to do that, I would just go into this menu right here and click the record a payment option. Now that's going to bring up this panel where it's going to show me the total amount for this invoice. Here I can select the payment method that they provided to me. So in this case, we'll just put check. I'm going to put in the $5,000 that I collected. And if I wanted to, I could add any additional notes down here. Now it's adding the date that I'm recording this payment. So if you need to edit this date because you collected this payment, maybe four days earlier, and you're just coming in now to record it, you can absolutely do that. And then of course, we'll just hit the button here to record this payment. Now, when I do that, you're going to notice that in the invoice overview page, the status of this particular invoice changed from submitted to partial. And if I hover over partial, it's going to show the amount that was collected, how I collected that amount and the date that it was collected on. And you can add as many payments as you want to any invoices. So if your client is pay paying you in multiple amounts, just keep clicking the record a payment option anytime you collect that amount, and then you can record that into the system. And of course, if one of these payments falls through and you need to remove it, what you can do is you can go in and edit the invoice. And within the invoice, if you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see that payment that was made. If you need to edit it, you can click on the edit icon right here and you can edit any of the details or you can remove it altogether. Now let's say that the client has, I've collected the first $5,000 from the client by check and they're ready to pay the balance owing on the rest of this invoice. If I wanted to, I could just choose to turn the credit card option on, on this invoice. I can choose to push the Stripe fee onto the client if I want, or I can choose to absorb it myself. It's completely up to you. And then I can resend this invoice back out to the client. When I do that, this panel is going to appear where it's going to show the client's email address has been added. I can of course add any new recipient that I want. So if I wanted to send it to both the husband and the wife, I can always add in a new recipient. You can add in your own subject line and your own message to this email. You can send yourself a copy and you can send the invoice back out to your client so that they can make the final payment to cover the balance owing. Now that I've done that, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to switch over into the client facing mode so you can see how these payments show on the client's end. So let's go ahead and we'll flip over to that. And I'm just going to hit the refresh here to make sure that everything's up to date. Perfect. So here I am in my client facing account. Now you can see the design files logo is showing up here, but in your account, it's going to, or in your client's account, it's going to show your company logo and your company colors. And here is the invoice that we've been working on for this particular video. So as a client, I can see that a partial payment was made by check for $5,000 on this date. And if I want to go in and uh, view the invoice and make the final payment, I can click directly into the invoice. Your logo will show here, your contact information and your invoice details. And down at the bottom, the client will also see the partial payment that was made, uh, how much, it, how much they paid and how they made that payment below that. They're going to see the total for the invoice and the balance owing, and they can go ahead and they can click this button right here to pay by credit card fill in their details and complete that purchase to pay off this full invoice. Once they do that, the invoice will show as paid and that amount will also be added to your financials page, which means you'll be able to track all of the money that you've brought in for your business through your financials page and have a really clear picture of how much you're bringing in on a month to month basis. So there you have it. That is the new uh, record payment feature. You can use it to record full payments, partial payments, any payments that you're collecting outside of the design file system. And that will allow you to track everything within your design files account. So you have a very clear idea of what you're bringing in. 
Now, very shortly, the team is also going to be building in the ability for designers to uh, select a specific deposit amount that they want to collect from their clients. And they'll be able to very shortly send those invoices out to their client to have the client pay that partial amount and then move forward with the rest of the project. So keep your eyes open for that. But for now, go ahead, log into your account and give this record payment option a try. I think it's gonna be a great feature that you can uh, make use of. It's gonna help you really manage all of the payments within your business. And as always, let us know what you think. We're always happy to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching.